All right, how's it going, guys? Got another quick little video for you. This time, I'm going to show you guys how you can record gameplays on the PlayStation 4 using your Elgato. I know a bunch of you guys have asked me this question, and if you didn't know, Sony has implemented an HDCP patch, which doesn't allow high-definition recording on the PlayStation 4, which is really unfortunate. But there is a way around it that I have found, and it's pretty cheap. As so I'm sure most of you guys will be interested. And as of right now, I'm pretty sure this only works on the Elgato Game Capture HD. Not too sure about any of the other gaming devices. You guys can feel free to give it a go on your own. But I will not say 100% that it will work on them. But I know it works on the Elgato as of right now. So you need to purchase this one little device. It's called the Orii HDMI Splitter. Here is the box to it. I purchased it from Amazon for like $22. I'll put a link to it in the description below. And it's worth it, man. It's worth it in my opinion. Uh, so I'm going to quickly show you guys how everything is set up. This isn't my setup, by the way. I know you guys can see this is pretty crazy. I just made everything like this just for the sake of the video to make it easier for you guys to understand. And I'll put a step-by-step -step, uh, instructions in the description below as well. So you need three HDMI cables for this. You take your first one from the black back of the PlayStation 4, run it, and you plug it into the Orii HDMI splitter, and you plug it into the input section of it. As you guys can see down there, it's going to say HDMI input. Then you take another HDMI cable, and behind the splitter there's going to be two HDMI outputs, doesn't matter which one. You run the second HDMI cable from the output section of the splitter into the input section located on the Elgato. Then you take your third and final HDMI cable and you run it from the output section of the Elgato all the way to the back of your monitor and that is it. Now you also need to plug this splitter into a wall because it does require uh, electricity or it does require power for it to turn on. So yeah, since you have the wire running all the way down there uh, and um, yeah that's really it and once you have everything plugged in Make sure your PS4 is off when you do this. Turn on your PlayStation 4 and go to your computer. And you have to change some settings for this to work. So the settings that you have to change, you have to make the input device the Xbox 360. You have to put the input to HDMI. HDMI color range is going to be standard. Profile is going to be HD 1080p. And you're going to put the quality on best. So as you guys can see, everything's working, even with sound. That sound just came out of my monitor, uh, so you guys know it's working because my actual PlayStation 4 or that monitor doesn't have any sound because I have my Astros plugged into it. Uh, so let me start using it right now. Go into the menu. There you guys go. Everything is working real nicely. And uh, yeah, so hopefully you guys have some fun with this. Hopefully this taught you on how to use all of this. If you can leave a like on the video, that'd be great. If you have any comments or if you have any questions, leave a comment in the comment section down below. Anyways, guys, that's all I gotta say. I'm out. Peace.